We are taking your pet questions today, and that number to call is 270-9933. Dr. Carrie Donahue from Full Circle Holistic Veterinary Care on Monroe Street is here to take your calls. Hi, Carrie, how are you Hello. doing? I'm great, thank you. The phones are jammed. <laughs> but you wanted to quickly mention, we've got a big winter storm coming, and mm. you've got some advice about winter, winterizing your pets, especially winterizing dogs. Winterizing your pets, especially dogs who are going out into the cold weather. And as, yeah, these temperatures are kind of staying cold, I think probably what the best advice that I have for pet owners at this point going out in the cold, it's the ice, it's the snow, it's the sand, and it's the salt that's out there that dogs are walking on. So anything that you can do to kind of protect your pet's feet is a good idea. So either like booties, um, there's a thing called paw wax, which you can apply to the pads of the feet, and that kind of protects the feet from everything that's out there. But also when you come in from being outside, just taking a wet washcloth and wiping in between the toes mm. to get anything out that might be in there, because that can be really irritating. And dogs can start licking, and then it can, you know, turn into an actual problem. One thing leads to the other. Right. All yeah. right, right, that's great mm -hmm. advice. Let's go ahead and okay. get to the phones. All right, we've got Jeannie and Barneveld. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, how are you? Oh, we're well. What's your question? I'm bringing a barn kitty home, and he's going to be an indoor kitty, so I just need some advice. Mm. Mm, well, good for you. That's wonderful. Uh, so bringing a new cat into the house, I would say the first thing to do would be a visit to your veterinarian where you could get updated on vaccines just to make sure that your cat is protected from anything that, you know, they might be exposed to. Uh, I would have a fecal ch sample checked, so in case you need to deworm your cat, you can have that done. So the, that would be the big thing I would say is just a visit to the vet, have a health check done, and some of those diagnostics and vaccines. All right, good luck to you. Thank you for calling today. Let's go to Joan in New Glarus. Hi, Joan, what's your question? Hi, my cat rolls in his litter. It's clean litter, but he rolls in the litter. Why does he do that, and how do I get him to stop? Oh, yeah. boy, that's a tough one. Uh, you know, what you might think about doing is just switching out the litter box and trying a different kind of litter box. You can get some that are covered. Um, there are some where the cats go in on the top, so maybe he wouldn't be likely to roll in the cat litter. And it's hard to say why exactly he's doing it. It might just be a behavioral thing where he you know, smells the things in the litter litter box and kind of wants to do that for some reason but that's what I would say is maybe try a different litter box okay okay all right we have Pat from Sauk City hi Pat what's your question um I have a 15 year old cat oh. and well actually I have six cats wow. none are in my home they're outside and in a heated place so go ahead and anyway, she has a thyroid problem. I've gone through one uh, batch of medicine for her, and she will not let me get near her to give her any medicine now. Oh, shoot, that makes it tough. However, the good thing is with the thyroid medici medicine for cats, you can actually find it in a transdermal form, which I find is a whole lot easier for most cats. And the transdermal is just a cream that you put on the inside of the ears, on the skin, and then it gets absorbed into the body that way. So it's not a medicine that you have to get them to take orally. And so that's that, what I had. That's what and, you have. <laughs> and she will not, oh, no. she but runs away that. from me. Mm. Uh, you know what? There is another option. I know the UW Vet School offers, uh, it's called a radio iodine treatment. And what it does is it goes in and it takes down the thyroid gland. Uh, so it is a procedure, but it's one and done. After that is finished, you don't have to do thyroid medication any longer because the thyroid gland is not going to be overproducing. So that might be the mm. other option, I would say. Something okay. to consider. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, let's go to Ellie in Madison. Hi there, what's your question? Oh, Ellie, are you there? Yes. I'm sorry, go ahead, what's your question? I have a dog that is part Chihuahua and part Pomeranian, and he just barks and barks and barks at people. I can't get him to stop. That is tough as well. And I will say, I also have a chihuahua that really loves to bark at people and other dogs and everything else that's out there. Uh, you know, and what I've 
what I've given to my dog and what I find works pretty well is just a calming supplement. And there are a number of different calming supplements out there. I found that CBD oil, CBD oil in treat form, it's easy to give to her and it really does kind of help chill her out. She doesn't bark as much. Good advice. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, so give that a try. Thank you for calling today. Uh, sorry, Carrie, we're running out of time. There's still more calls, but... Uh, uh, the, yeah, the phone doesn't stop lighting up here. <laughs> but thank you, for, thank you for your calls, everybody. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Okay, Karen, sounds Karen, thank good. you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Pretty roll playback. Three.